I turn on the air conditioning switch and hit the fan, it deploys the air conditioning grate out the bottom. That is pretty damn cool. I'm looking forward to flying this thing. Hello everybody and welcome. We are here in Sydney. Dead Stick Adventures is at Sydney Flight College. We're having a look at this brand new Archer TX. We're gonna do a flight around Sydney so you can see Sydney Harbour from the air, hopefully, if we get the clearance. And we're gonna have a look at Sydney Flight College and their beautiful facilities here at Sydney Bankstown. Put YouTube in theater mode, sit back and enjoy. So in this walk around video, we're gonna take a close look at this Archer TX. I'll give you a feel for what it's like. And I'm also gonna compare it to the nearly 50 year old Archer that I've done most of my time building in. I think it's gonna be a little bit different. So these brand new Archers are pretty cool. This is a 2021 model. Most of the exterior is gonna be the same as any Archer you've seen. Where it gets really interesting is on the inside. So let's have a quick whip around the outside. I'll show you what we can see, and then we'll have a look inside built in 2021, so it's almost brand new as of this filming. It's got 50 hours on it. Now, Piper built these aircraft specifically with flight schools in mind. They built the TX version, which is what we're flying today, and then they built the LX version starting in 2010. The LX, more geared for private flying. The TX, perfect for flight schools. So up front here, the 180 horsepower IO360, flat rated to 180 horsepower, which means it produces the same power output up to a particular density altitude. I don't know what density altitude that is. Do you guys know? So these arches are good for about 128 knots at 75% power at about 5,000 feet. At that height, you'd be burning 42 liters an hour. So it's a pretty economical little aircraft, particularly for training. So this one's also got the hot weather kit installed. So on the right hand side, it adds a duct for the oil cooler and it's got a shower of sparks magneto system, which according to my research, produces a really high voltage retarded spark using high capacitive discharge, which supplements the impulse coupled magnetos. What the hell does that all mean? Big, hot, retarded spark, make it easy to start when students give it too much juice. So with full tanks burning 42 liters an hour, it's got a 210 kilo cabin lift. So that's pretty impressive. And with that, you get 522 miles of range. So on the side here, pretty standard Archer stuff, the same semi-tapered wing as most of the Archers that have been produced in the last 40 years, it makes it pretty easy to fly. What is different is these wing tips. Landing and taxi lights are in these clear domes at the front. And then you've got your nav and your strobe lights here. And of course, they're all LED. In terms of fuselage, absolutely identical to the older arches. What you've got, which is a little bit different, is a few extra antennas up here for the goodies that are in the dash. So I just got totally distracted by a close-up of a DA-42. The stats that I heard from Tristan on these things are unbelievable. 42 litres an hour, the same burn as this aircraft, with two engines burning Jet A. I want to fly one. So up the back here, all standard Archer stuff, exactly the same tailplane as you've seen on every Archer. And of course, the all-flying tail, Piper's signature. Now that that DA42's gone, stop distracting me. Check out the livery. You guys know that I'm a sucker for nice paint. It comes from growing up in a crash shop. Piper actually designed a custom livery for Sydney Flight College. You can see the beautiful blues on the wingtips and the elevator tips. And I love what they've done back here with this logo. Check that out. Doesn't smell like vinyl and avgas in here. So that's the outside. Now let's have a look at the inside. That's the best part. Oh, dude, it's got that new plane smell. So in here's where all the magic happens. This is what's different about this Archer. We'll light up these displays in a second, but check out this yoke. Rock solid buttons everywhere, and it's even got a toga, a takeoff go around button on the throttle. It's like an airliner in here. Okay, let's go. Some battery and avionics. So let's have a look at what we've got in this brand new Arch. Yes, thank you. I get that. So let's have a look at what we've got in this brand new Archer TX. Pretty impressive panel, if I'm honest. Left-hand side here, we've got a G5. In the center here, we've got the G500 TXI, so that's a full moving map display. And the right-hand side here, we've got the MFD, PFD, MFD. 
Then of course, right hand side here, you've got ELT operation. We've got some defroster and check out this little button here. That's for the air conditioning, which I think we're gonna appreciate because it's pretty warm here today. Down on the right hand side here, all the standard circuit breakers, notice that they're all pool circuit breakers. So you can reset them. And then of course you can pull them to simulate failures. And then alternate air, as you'd expect, being a fuel injected aircraft and a pretty simple throttle quadrant here, just your mixture and your throttle, just like every other Piper Archie you've ever flown. Of course, down the bottom here, we've got some dimming switches for the panel, for the switches themselves, and for the avionics. And then the bottom section is really clear. There's nothing down here, no engine gauges, no fuel gauges, because of course, they're all up in the G1000s. So I haven't got a ton of time in G1000 cockpits, but let's have a bit of a look and see what we can see. So there's a bunch of different stuff that it does. Of course, you can control the transponder from here, which is pretty sweet. If I go, I can squawk VFR, and that'll put in 1200 automatically. Put in the code, that's wicked. You can ident from here. 20 minutes later. That is pretty damn cool. I'm looking forward to flying this thing. This is one of the coolest features of this Archer. If I turn on the air conditioning switch and hit the fan, it deploys the air conditioning grate out the bottom. We've got to have a look at that condenser coming out. That is super cool. So check this out. Something you don't see in your standard Archer, airbag seat belts. That is pretty cool. I feel safe. Ground check is the Foxtrot for power and leave information Foxtrot for departure request taxi. Oh yes. Yay. Air conditioning. All right, on max cool. I can't believe that it's going to blow cold. I, I just think it's going to blow ambient. There we are. It's on. Oh within my three god. Seconds. It's blowing cold within three seconds. Check that out. Okay, okay run ups. Park brake set throttle to a thousand. Looking for a thousand. As we'd expect, fuel pump is on, and we're looking for any indication. Just 10 points So, off. fuel pump's off. Our fuel pump comes off there. Fuel pump comes off, and it stays off, and we're just lock looking that the fuel flow doesn't drop. Oh, okay, so you just that's checking the engine driven pump. Yep. Okay, beautiful, and that's back on again. Yeah, yep. Yep, and then air conditioner's off. Uh, so, turn so the aircon off. Aircon just goes off, Yep. that's going to close then. Yep, and then... CO detector, there's nothing on the CO on the CAS. Yep. CO is good. And a slow idle. A slow idle. Perfect. Max and Tower, Cherokee, Zulfa, Crop of Heart, approaching Alpha 8 turn on a right, ready for departure via crosswind. Zulfa, Crop of Heart, Banks down at Tower. Runway 2 on a right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, turn on a right, Zulfa, Crop of Heart. Engine instruments are all green, airspeed's alive. 65. 65, rotate. And we'll climb away. And trip. Uh, Zulu Fox Rock Papa, we're approximately one zero miles to the west of Long Reef, currently 2000 shortly on descent for 1500. Any chance of a Harbour Scenic 1 today? Zulu Fox Rock Papa, remain clear of control to airspace, Squawk 3452, and you might just be in luck. Ah, oh, beautiful. Squawk 3452, remain OCTA, Zulu Fox Rock Papa. <laughs> might be in luck. <laughs> might be in luck, that's awesome. So the Fox Drop will be a couple minute delay, maybe five. I'll call you back when we're ready. Too easy for the Fox Drop Papa. Keep us posted. All right, so once we hit Long Reef, which is that golf course over there, uh -huh. if we don't have a clearance, we can't actually enter that airspace. So we'll just do a left hand orbit, just keep us outside the airspace. Left hand orbit uh, to the left of that golf yep, course. To the left of the golf course. Yep, no problems. Zulu Foxtrot Papa, contact departures 123.0 Departures 123.0, Zulu Foxtrot Papa uh, Sending departures, good day, uh, Cherokee Zulu Foxtrot Papa uh, North of Long Reef, 1600 on descent, 1500, Rucos Harbour Scenic 1 Zulu Foxtrot Papa, Sydney departures, good afternoon, Cleared Harbour Scenic 1, Sydney QNH 1019 Cleared Harbour Scenic 1, QNH 1019, Zulu Foxtrot Papa 
So we're doing an orbit inside that boundary? Yeah, inside that boundary. So okay. approaching it in a bit, we'll just slow it down. We're going to bring it down to safe slow, so 2100 RPM and um, two stages of flap. Two stages of flap, okay, yep. copy that. That's pretty cool, tracking straight towards the harbour bridge. That is, yeah. uh, that's awesome. And then uh, we've got one in the harbour right now. We've got him there. Yep, same, same altitude. Same altitude. Just keep an eye out for him. Okay, if you want to slow it down now. Slow it down. Yep. Bring it back 21. 2100. Two departures, Bravo Kilo Mike. Request to send into Victor 1 southbound upon reaching Just waiting for that white arc. I'm going to start making your orbit now. So start just... that orbit now. Yep, start that orbit now. Since I was up the front flying, I was too busy to get a decent look at Sydney Harbour, but at least Josh got some beautiful shots. These images support our channel and are available for purchase at commandaviation.com.au forward slash deadstick. Wow, that's gorgeous. Sydney is stunning. Beautiful, isn't it? I'm glad you're looking at it. <laughs> Trying to look at the pretty pictures here instead of looking at that. <laughs> Use the attitude. You know how it works. Departure Zulu Fox Papa, orbit complete now tracking for the heads. Uh, once established east of the coast, request to leave control airspace on to Victor 1 South. To the Fox Papa, east of the coast, clear to leave control area descending into Victor 1, report once established. Once established east of the coast, clear to leave control airspace on descent and we'll go Zulu Fox Papa. Flaps are away, aircraft's accelerating, looking for 2450 and re trip. Yep, good. Alright, let's head for the heads there. Traffic Victor 1, Sydney Heads, 1,100 foot coastal, love it. Best thing ever invented. There's 200 foot, 200 above. Yeah, there's the Fox Rock Papa, we're established with the 1 South. So the Fox Rock Papa, identification terminated. So the Fox Rock Papa. So famous Bondi Beach on the right. Wow, check that out. I will, you stay there flying. <laughs> Damn, that's specky. I yep. can see why they put this VFR road in. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, pretty much we're hopping cliff to cliff. Cliff to cliff. And traffic vector one, Cherokee's little fox up the just past Cape Slander, 500 feet, tracking southbound. Vector one. Caution, terrain. Caution, terrain. So that's the terrain comparing our Caution, GPS position, terrain. speed, and altitude Caution, terrain. to a worldwide database of terrain Caution, and saying, look out. Do you want to see a master? I've seen, I've shown you, uh, that was a caution. Yep. That's gonna, sh sh I mean, she's gonna scream basically master. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Sign up 213, the punch is okay. Click to leave and re-enter control of space. Caution, terrain. Caution, terrain. Caution, terrain. Oh, she got very upset then. <laughs> so yeah, it compares the terrain database over here uh -huh. to that worldwide map. Yep. And it highlights basically which Fox ones you're going to hit. And back on Tower Cherokee, Zulu, Fox Rock Papa, 200, 1,500 inbound, receive golf. Zulu, Fox Rock Papa, Banks Town Tower, maintain 1,500, overfly the field for late right downwind, runway 290 right. Overfly the field for uh, late right downwind, maintain 1,500, Zulu, Fox Rock Papa. Cool, so here we are approaching to Banks Town. 1,500 feet and we're 2,500 RPM trying to get ahead of the aircraft that uh, ATC wants us in front of. There's the field, there's Sydney in the background. Gorgeous, what a great flight. <laughs> Magic. Silly Fox Rock Papa, turning downwind now, full stop, runway right. Silly Fox Rock Papa, cleared visual approach number one, runway right. Beautiful. Clear that visual approach for runway right number one, Silly Fox Rock Papa. And just look off, off. Speeds decaying. Good. Throttles to idle. Control side, I'll just hold Kelly it Golf steady. Wings level now and... Okay. Kelly Golf Tango cleared, visual approach becoming number one. Stall, number right. stall, stall. Very cool, thank you mate, that was awesome. No props. What a great flight. So there we go, that is the Archer TX at Sydney Flight College. I've got to say, I've got a lot of time in Archers and I was pretty damn impressed. That G1000 gives you incredible situational awareness. The autopilot's silky smooth and uh, the performance was pretty impressive. And the air conditioning, can't complain with that. Let's go have a look at our own Sydney Flight College, have a look at their facilities. I hear tell of a 737 simulator, so I hope we can get to go and check that out. And let's, uh, let's go and see what they've got to offer. There was a Diamond DA42 to check out, and once inside their offices and facilities, we looked at their Redbird Diamond DA42 simulator, where I safely practiced for my low-level rating. We toured their classrooms, and we had a look at their impressive back hangar. 
Of course, we couldn't leave without being shown the fully functional 737 simulator, which is open to the public if you'd like to take a look. You can book a session at sfcaero.com.au. Thanks to Sydney Flying Club for hosting us and showing us around and letting us tour their facilities and fly their aeroplanes. Check them out at sfcaero.com.au. And on the side here, pretty standard Archer wings. You've got that semi-tapered wing, so it's nice and fin finesse, finesse -y. Nice and, so it's easy to, it's, what is it? 